His body, baby, oh. Oh, Lord, have his mercy. Hey, I say hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Zara Nicholas TV. It's Zara here, aka Epic Zara. And I've come to bring you guys a companion video to the video that I just did for you all. And that's going to be our seven don'ts if you want to grow your hair super duper long like Black Rapunzel. You know the previous video was the seven do's for growing your hair super long. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. I will link it on one of these sides here. Before we get started, I'd like you to do four very simple things for me. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel, comment down below what you'd like us to do next, share this video with all of your friends, and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's try and get our video to a thousand likes at least, you guys. That'll definitely inspire me to keep making beautiful content for you all. Let's get started. So my first tip for you all, please do not allow your hair to get matted up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty notorious for allowing this to happen, and it's really terrible. There's several issues with allowing the hair to mat up. If you're allowing the hair to mat up, chances are that you're not moisturizing it, you're not nourishing it with oils and butters, you're not detangling it. So by the time your hair is about to be released from this beehive that has formed, it's probably really dry and really tangled up. And that's really not going to help your hair grow. It's going to cause all sorts of things that are going to stunt length retention. Number two is don't allow your hair to rub against cotton or wool. Cotton and wool, when they rub against the hair, cause friction, they sap the moisture from the hair. So of course, what does this lead to, ladies? Engines. It leads to splits and breakage, which stunts length retention. If you must wear your favorite cotton or wool cap, make sure you tell your favorite tailor or designer to line it with satin so that your hair doesn't suffer but you can still be warm my don't number three is make sure that you don't brush your hair or comb your hair too often now a lot of naturals swear by finger detangling and that's because it allows an individual to remove tangles and shed hair Without excessive hair fall or hair loss, this is one thing that I've actually really incorporated into my regimen. I don't brush my hair anymore, save for once a month when I know that my hair really, really needs it. And when I do brush my hair, I make sure that I do it to not just deeply detangle, but also to remove dirt and excessive dead skin from my scalp. Of course, remember, when you're brushing or combing, be gentle when you do actually decide to do it. But I highly recommend making sure that you do not brush or comb your hair too often. My tip number four would have to be avoid, avoid, avoid brushing or combing hair when it's dry. Now, if you're going to brush or comb your hair, I highly, highly recommend that you incorporate an oil or at least dampen it a little bit. This will stave off a lot of breakage and splits because your hair will be more malleable if it's being pre-pooed or if it has just a little bit of moisture in it. Now, here's my disclaimer for that piece of advice. This does not work for everybody. If your hair is fine or prone to breakage, whether dry or wet, I highly recommend finger detangling solely and making sure to finger detangle on hair that is being pre pooed or has some sort of nourishment or a tiny, tiny bit of moisture. It's important to conduct trials so that you can find out what works best for you as an individual. My tip number five is this. Now this one may come as a shock to some of you because we've heard so many times in the natural community not to shampoo, period. So what I want to say is don't over shampoo, but at the same time, don't under shampoo. A clean, well-ventilated scalp is essential to hair growth. 
Your scalp needs to be well oxygenated in order for your follicles to thrive. That means that your scalp has to be clean whichever way you decide to do it. Some individuals need to wash their hair once a week while others need to wash their hair once a month. It's all dependent on how your scalp works and maintains its cleanliness. Now, of course, it's not good to have a scalp that's smelly, that's itchy, that's dirty. So as long as you're cleansing your scalp and your hair prior to this occurring, you're doing what you need to do. But of course, don't overdo it because some may experience excessive hair loss if the scalp and the hair are cleansed too frequently. I personally like to go once a month for a shampoo. I'm actually overdue for a shampoo as my scalp is pretty dry and my hair is rather thirsty. My tip number six, and one that I'm also very bad at adhering to, is don't touch your hair too often. If you have your hands constantly in your hair, chances are it'll be more prone to snagging and again, breakage and splits, which are extremely detrimental to a long hair growth journey. Over manipulation will not allow the hair to thrive the way that it needs to, so be sure to style your hair and leave your hands out of it. To detangle your hair, then leave your hands out of it. To protective style your hair, then leave your hands out of it. Just let your hair be. Now my seventh tip and another fairly controversial one is do not use petroleum jelly or other non-absorbables on the hair and the scalp. That's mineral oil. So petroleum jelly is petrolatome and other such substances because at the end of the day the skin and the hair cannot absorb them they sit on the hair and they basically suffocate it now of course if you want to use them to seal in moisture i understand but because they're rather heavy they have to be shampooed out or they will not leave the scalp i do recommend substituting those things with shea almond oil avocado oil coconut oil which my hair hates but yours might love <laughs> and other oils that the scalp absorbs very easily. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking around to hear me talk about what you should not do if you're trying to grow your hair super duper long. Anywho, you guys, I'd like to just remind you to do those four things I asked you to do at the beginning of the video, and that is to subscribe. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Please be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones, and be sure to comment down below what you'd like us to do next. Thank you guys so much, and please let me know if these tips helped you in your hair journey. Let me know what bad habits you guys have, and be sure to check out the previous video showing you what you should do if you want to grow your hair super duper long. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys and God bless. To make you show them, show them, show them that you got it. The way that you wind that booty on me. You make me wanna sign that booty for me. I'll do you anywhere when you tell me on. You're looking at me, girl, me say carry on. Say girl. I really like the way that you carry your body, say girl. You can stand by me anywhere